Okay, I just checked his video. And this oil line on was removed. So I'm gonna double check and see how much he unplugged under there. He did keep the oil uh, uh, sensor right here uh, plugged in, which I think that would help you to remove. I removed it once, put some tape over it, and was just trying to work around it. But I'm going to try one more time tomorrow uh, remove this, maybe remove that plug. I don't know, that, that'll help me. Um, probably not. And maybe the oil sensor uh, right here. So give myself a little bit more room because right now it is not rotating and it has to rotate in this cavity right here um, between the frame and the EGR cooler, there's nowhere else for it to rotate. So if it's gonna rotate, it's there. And then, then I guess this nose that kind of just slides along underneath. Yeah, so this definitely has, this pipe definitely has to go because that, if it does rotate over, um, then you stick it back in there upside down. This, outlet or sorry it's the inlet is underneath the frame and it feels like for the most part other than this wire um, that it can slide along there a couple things in the way yeah no it can slide in there it can slide there so we'll try it tomorrow it's too late 2013 Volvo D13 trying to remove the EGR cooler without removing the turbo which to this point is a dumb idea um, the front bracket it you have to take the brackets out there's one there there's one back there that I am struggling to get out from underneath the cooler this is the angle I've got it right now trying to get this bracket out and it doesn't want to come out this is the front bracket here and you've got to remember before you start undoing this strap make sure you undo these bolts there's one under both the front and the back so get those out otherwise you're gonna have a huge pain to deal with because uh, the EGR will fall in front of the area you need to get in there and get those out okay so now I've got it to this point hopefully I can get that rear bracket out with it at this crazy angle right here and if the rear bracket comes out I can see how it's possible to get the EGR cooler out but I will update you as that happens Okay, so now I'm gonna try and do the flip it over and take it out, procedure. Get this piece, the connector tube, off the back of the turbo way up out of the way. Oh man, this thing's stuck down here now. Standing up on the frame here. Okay, my fingers are stuck. Oh. I'm trying to just rotate it like they talk about. All right, it doesn't rotate out towards the I don't know if they took the big plunger out. Okay. So I took this out of the block. Uh, it was stuck in the block. And that's right there is where I'm going to try and rotate the part. 
that goes into the housing. Uh, it's blurry. Okay. Real time. I'm gonna back this up. There's a shield in the way. not working. Let me go see what's going on. Okay, slide it all the way over to Got it pretty well jammed in there. I tried rotating it out. No chance there. I tried rotating it both directions, like barrel, like this way and this way and it's getting hung up um, I got to check that guy's video to see if he moved the removed this coolant line maybe that's part of it um, I'll check back with you okay so that's the key you've got to get this at a really steep angle so that the corner of the rear bracket will actually come and go over the top of the oil housing. There's that center bolt. That's the bottom of the bracket right now. Let's see if I can get this out. I probably ought to start taking this back the other way. I don't have two hands. freaking hard that was really hard so this one has that bolt that one they don't tell you about nobody's telling you about any bolts but it's one there one there and that one there take the, these out take the bottom ones out before you start on doing the straps okay so what I've learned is you got to take out that oil line for sure i took out the sensor as well um then i was able to rotate it in towards the motor um 
the drain plug has to be down here below, at least for me, the uh, frame rail. Take out this pipe, you know, it connects right there. Just pull that out and you can pull it forward to at least here. And let's see. Maybe you guys can see that. I don't know. There it is. It's possible I would take out more than that guy online shows. Yes. Definitely. So, there you have it.